Hello, Valder. How you doing? Good morning, Dr. Chris Moore. Thank you for joining us live on the Valder Beebe Show. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Great to be here. Well, thank you. I'm glad to have you here to talk about National Men's Health Week. And you're asking my audience, does your man need a wellness wake-up call? Yeah, and, and, and unfortunately, you know, men do need a wellness wake-up call. And I say unfortunately because not enough men take control of their health. And it is National Men's Health Month, like you mentioned. Heart disease, the number one killer in men and women. So it's, we do need that wake-up call, and there's lots of things that we can do to improve our health. Very simple, small steps that can have pay dividends and have big results in the end. Okay, what are your suggestions? Because mine is have a really good doctor. It took me a while to get my healthy husband to really go to the doctor. Right. We have a really good uh, general practitioner, and there is a relationship there, so it's a little bit easier. Right. Great, and I, I appreciate that you've done that, and that's very important for men to increase that awareness. If you don't know what's going on in your body, you, you, you think you're okay. Unfortunately, a lot of men think they're invincible. It's not true. Um, so having a, a doctor, getting your, your, your basic tests done. The American Heart Association recommends um, having your lipid panel done, which is cholesterol and triglycerides and, and LDL and HDL, which are two pieces of cholesterol. Having those tested once every five years, starting at the age of 20. So which is you know rather young. It's not waiting till you're 50 or 60 and waiting for something to happen. It's being proactive rather than reactive. Mm, I didn't know about the age of 20. Now I've got to talk to my younger son. There you go. Exactly. Again, it's, it's just so important and having those tests done because then when you're aware, you can know to make change. And it's not just that awareness of, if something is bad going on to make a change, but just to prevent something from happening. Again, then we look at diet and exercise. It's such an important puzzle in terms of reducing our risk of diseases, specifically heart disease. Oh, those are some great uh, suggestions. What else can we do to help our guys? Well, you know, certainly recommended some, some healthy dietary changes, including more fruits and vegetables, number one, including foods like nuts, which are heart healthy. Five, they have high, they're high in fiber and, and heart healthy fats. Specifically, when I say heart healthy fats, fish is another one that comes to mind. And fish is loaded with what are called omega-3 fats, which are great for your heart and overall body. And then in addition to diet, there's some supplements, and I mentioned omega-3s because they're so important. Well, you could buy supplements that have omega-3 fats as well, which are great for your body, great for your heart. And there's a new supplement I'm really, really excited about because it's been proven to lower LDL and total cholesterol, which both can improve heart health, and that's called CardioViva. It's a probiotic that works naturally with your gut, the gut bacteria, to lower cholesterol. And I'm really excited about this because it's such an important discovery that's been 10 years in the making. Now, these are great ideas, Chris. Now, are you talking about a certain age group? Because I'm thinking of my college-age son, and to do some of these things, it's, a hard, it's going to be a hard sell because he's healthy, he's young, he's right. at the peak of his lifestyle. Yeah, well, you know, you're never too young to, to make changes, um, to make improvements. Again, doesn't you don't have to be unhealthy to make changes, but you could certainly improve and reduce the risk of having situations down the road. Like I said earlier, it's, un it's tough for men because men think they're invincible, particularly younger men, but the younger you can start, the better you will be. And I think it's so important, again, you don't have to overhaul your entire lifestyle, but what are some of the small changes you can make? Some that I talked about are easy to implement. Things like exercise as well, I didn't even mention that yet, but that's another one, making sure you're exercising regularly because even though you're young now, you feel great, I promise you, as you start to get older, if you're not taking care of your body, you will, you will age, not necessarily biologically, but physically, physically, you will age significantly and really can hurt your body overall if you don't take care of it at a young age. Oh, I can agree with that one, Chris. <laughs> Dr. Christopher, is a place on a website that my audience can go and get some help because, you know, it's usually us girls that help right. the guys to get to the doctor. Right, right. And I have two websites for you. One is the American Heart Association's website where certainly they, certainly they provide a lot of information, tips and strategies and recommendations. And their website is heart.org. The other website is called uh, For Cardio Viva, that probiotic I mentioned, because I think that's such an exciting one for men to look at and women. That's my cardio viva Dot com. Lots of information about that particular product because it is available nationwide now in Walgreens and other dr and drugstore.com and other areas throughout the country. 
Dr. Chris Moore, thank you so much for that information. You know, we you, we see you uh, in a number of media outlets, and they say that you're the new American doctor. So thanks for talking to us on Th the Valder Show. Thanks, Valder. I really appreciate uh, chatting with you this morning. Cheers.